Good Friday morning. I'm Gerhard Mathingani with today's Sports Brief. There is a lot of great football on tap this weekend as high schools move into week nine, the Big Ten rolls into week one, and the SEC plays in week five. The Auburn Tigers are looking to bounce back after a second straight road loss at South Carolina last week. Now, the Tigers have yet to put together a complete game, and they could very easily be 0-4. They're looking to avoid another road loss, which would drop them under 500 for the season. It's a very important game, I'll tell you that. I mean, obviously, when you lose a game, and you got to get a bounce back. And uh, so, yeah, it's a very important game. Our guys understand that and the big picture of this thing. We need to win. We need to get some momentum. Uh, and we need to play good Auburn football. And really, that's going to be our mindset. Obviously, like I said earlier, I mean, uh, you're playing a team that's better than the record, and, and they've showed that. They've almost beat some really good teams. So, But, you know, our focus is getting better. Our focus is uh, finding a way to get a victory and coming back and getting some momentum. And so that, that's what's on our mind. Meanwhile, that Auburn defense has also struggled a bit with the loss of linebacker K.J. Britt. First of all, K.J. Britt's our team leader. And so how do you make up for that? I mean, that, that, that's, a, that, that's a tough blow, all right? But... At the same time, you know, you get opportunities. You got Owen, Zacoby, and they're taking that next step. And, you know, the great thing is KJ's still around. He's still uh, doing a great job uh, being a leader. He did that Sunday night. And we'll get him back before the end of the year, so that's a positive too. But, you know, um, you know he's, he's not only just a, gr a great player, but he's a great leader. So, um, you know, that was a blow. But, hey, you know, we knew there was going to be adversity in, in this, this unusual season. And uh, that's just, you know, some of it that we dealt with, but he's still there with us to, to help his teammates. The second-rate Crimson Tide looking to avoid a hangover as they head over to Knoxville to face Tennessee. That Alabama offense has been off the charts this year. That unit second nationally in scoring at just over 48 points per game and fifth in total offense at just over 560 yards per contest. The offensive line is a big part of that success, but as you would expect, the notion down in Tuscaloosa is they're always looking to improve. Well, I think they're playing well. Uh, I think if you talk to each one of them, they'd all give you something that they think that they could do better. Um, and, you know, just like the first play of the game, when a quarterback gets hit in the back, you know, somebody didn't do what they were supposed to do. And I'm not going to call anybody out. Um, and and quarterback gets hit and blindsided and they get a pick. So um, th there's always things that you can do better. Now, do I think this group has played really well? Absolutely. I think they played better every week. Uh, and I think they played really well last week. And I think they played really well the week before that. Um, so I'm, I'm pleased with their performance. But I'm sure if you ask each and every one of them, they'd have something that they think they could do better. Uh, and uh, we're working hard to try to help them get better because it creates value for them. The better they play, uh, the more value it creates for them, um, and the better we have a chance to play as an offensive unit. The Tigers and Rebels square off at 11 a.m. and Tennessee and Alabama kick off at 2.30. And that wraps up your sports brief. Our program continues next.